Hello, welcome to Business Insights. Uh, my name is Tony Loop. Uh, this, vi this video is going to be GSA Expedite Part 2. The reason uh, this is going to be a follow up is I posted a video, a review of GSA Expedite, a company that helps other companies uh, some go through the GSA processing in order to do business with the federal government. You can watch that video. Uh, basically, my whole big issue was the telemarketing practices. Um, the script they used, the way they handled it, and the way they handled their uh, their call volume, I guess. Uh, the reason for the follow-up is recently a, a YouTube user who went by the name of EFH747 back a few days ago, three days ago exactly, um, posted... Let's see. Actually, let's start with this. Four days ago, a user called Mr. Seahorse, who joined YouTube about four days ago, apparently saw the video. His, his comment is, boring, rambling, bullying. Good thing he did not buy the service. I am sure Uncle Sam wouldn't want to do business with him anyway. It sounds like he has issues with free enterprise. Okay, so that's the comment, Mr. Seahorse E, to clarify, to, to be precise. That was the comment he wanted to post. Uh, I didn't approve the comment. It's a silly comment. Uh, anyone who knows me understands. I I I, I think free trade. I think uh, economically speaking. Uh, you know, it's great that businesses are out there trying to develop business. And I, I, I think consultant business, uh, helping other companies do business with the federal government, it's great. It's a wonderful thing. I do have an issue with certain business practices. Um, I don't understand. I, I, people call me boring. I could be boring. Rambling, oh, I'll agree with it. I ramble all the time. Um, I don't tell I'm bullying. I'm pretty much stating the facts as they occurred. And so, I, you know, I don't know about the whole Uncle Sam doesn't want to do business. But anyway, the next comment, four days later, four days ago, about the same time frame, another user joins YouTube and says, um, his username is EFH747. The comment that they wanted to post was, <clears throat> this guy could not qualify, so he is mad. And he is, and he is making false statements about GSA Expedite. Our attorneys will handle you. Hang on, you're fixing to go on a wild ride to the poorhouse. Now, first of all, I really think they should check their records because there was no qualification process. Uh, I'm not mad. Uh, in fact, I work with a company and we're going through the process. I mean, GSA is a, uh, you know, a, it's a, not an easy process. It's not the most difficult thing in the world. But yeah, it takes time and it's easy if people have gone through it before. Um, so, I, you know, and I think having help doing it, it's a wonderful idea. So, I, <laughs> so the comment is absolutely insane. Uh, in that statement, they say I'm making false statements. I don't know what false statement there was. I, I'm pretty sure I spelled it out as it was. In fact, most of the time, because I have a history in telemarketing, um, I do know how the things work. So I do make notes. I do write down the times of calls. I do write down these things. Um, and especially with the way this company handled it, it you know, became a process. So I did make these notes and I did. Um, you know, discuss it. Now, three days ago, EFH747 posts either way. I don't know what that means, but he clarifies. Either way, you are polite as you can be, question mark. And yeah, I'm pretty polite to almost every telemarketer who calls me. Unless they call five or six times. Sometimes I even give them sales tips and I try and help them. Um... Now then he go he until so he po tries to post again. Either way, you are polite as you can be. Question mark. Do so more research. That's exactly how he posted. 
he posts again, or he tries to post again. Either way, you are polite as you can be, question mark. Do some more research. And then this is the best one. Loser, he says. And he, he quotes, he cuts and pastes from my resume. It says, tell a sales representative, March 2001 to March 2004. Uh, and yes, general full sale, phone sales, database work, cold calling, literature fulfillment. This is from his resume. That's what he says. Now, I've worked throughout my life, I've worked in telemarketing a few different times. Um, I completely understand the process of telemarketing. I understand automatic da dialers, script writing. I understand the do not call policies. Uh, I don't think there's any shame in being a, a telemarketer. It, it's a definitely a legitimate job. There's a lot of calls. I mean, in fact, most salespeople who do cold calling are telemarketers. <laughs> okay, so by calling someone a loser because they're a telemarketer at one point in their life, I mean, the whole point of these vi of my review was their telemarketing practices. So I don't know what his opinion is of his own staff, but apparently it sounds like it's not very good. Now, and it really, I really don't understand why you would even do that. Um, you know, but let me let me continue here. This guy, or this person, uh, as they said. Uh, the one quote was, our attorneys will handle you by EFH747. So I assume he works directly with GSA Expedite. His statement is, their attorneys will handle. So uh, EFH747 uh, believes they're going to sue me. I have received no paperwork yet. I have seen nothing from any lawyers asking me to take down any videos. I'm not really sure what his plan was or her plan. Then I get this email on 9-11 um, from EFH 747. Regard, the subject is GSA Expedite. You pissed off the wrong guy. <laughs> That's the response I get. Now I sent back a response. My response was, I did, question mark. Does that mean that I should be worried about some kind of retribution? Is that how your company operates? Please tell me more. I would love to do a follow-up video. Looking forward to your response. Regards, Tony. <coughs> now, the funny part about this whole thing is if you look at the number of videos I post and the reviews I've done, and if you look at the one last case, uh, Firestone, I did a short version and a long version. I follow up on all the comments, even if nothing more than to say thank you. And somehow, I, I don't, this person didn't realize maybe that, I, and I assume they work directly with GSA Expedite, that I would do a follow up video about them posting or trying to post. So they publicly want to call me a loser. Uh, they publicly want to say I didn't qualify and I'm lying. Um, instead, uh, and here's the takeaway. If you get a bad review, if your company gets a bad review, there's two ways you can handle it. You can try and pretend that the person who made the review is crazy or has a vendetta or for whatever reason, uh, is attacking you without any basis in you know facts or you can do the opposite way the, the more preferable method which is the way Firestone handled uh, the, the, the issue with the videos and that was to say look we understand something went wrong in our process something went wrong in the process in the sales process here something happened how can we make this better? What can we do to, to re resolve any outstanding issues? Um, maybe it is our process. Maybe there's something else going on that a third party did 
and how can we help uh, remedy the situation? How can we all move forward and build a good business relationship? You know, so, so you have just two complete opposite ways of doing this. And GSA Expedite, I assume they're representative, uh, as they said, it was, they said, our lawyers. Um, so I assume they work directly for GSA Expedite. Decided to go the other route. And uh, clearly, I assume it's a threat that there's going to be legal action, um, which, hey, feel free. Have your lawyers call me. I'm not really hard to find. My username is my real name. Um, my, <laughs> you found my profile on LinkedIn. Uh, you know, feel free. Send me uh, an invite. <laughs> you know, we maybe we can become friends. Uh, you want to join me on Facebook? Feel free. Um, so uh, they decided to go that route. They decided to try and post comments ridiculing me, um, and really all they ended up doing was ridiculing their own employees. Um, so whoever this EFH seven forty seven is apparently thinks telemarketers are losers. Yet he has telemarketers, or she has telemarketers, either working for them directly or as a third-party outsourced um, operation. So I guess all of those people, if they know who EFH747 is, now every time you look at that person, you know that person thinks you're a loser. I, I just don't see how that is a good business policy um, to, to want to post these public. I didn't post them publicly. Um, you know, I'm not going to, I mean, I probably could have, if I had allowed public posting without approval, um, you know, I'm sure there's, a, I probably could have put a lawsuit together, but that's not who I am. I, I try and avoid litigation. I try and find solutions to problems. And I, I really think this showcases, and I'm glad this happened because it really is a perfect example of, of the two different ways to handle something. You know, anytime, you know, any publicity is good publicity, but if you handle it correctly, you can take a bad situation and turn it around in your favor. Or you can compound the problem and make it worse. So for Business Insights, uh, my name is Tony. I appreciate your time. And I'll let you judge GSA Expedite for yourself. Uh, and if anybody ever wants to see these comments, I'll forward you the emails. I can do the screenshot. I'll send them over your way. And if I do get any legal paperwork, I'll be sure to do a follow-up video again. Thank you for your time. Have a good night.